what do you think of when you think of a person that is blessed by God? And you may say, well, that person may have a nice car, nice home, nice clothes, a very good job, so on and so on. You may say that, and that is not completely wrong. But how about fair health? Some people don't think about that. How about being able to move, walk, so on and so on? For instance, I went to Walmart earlier, and on my way out, I saw this handicapped person in a wheelchair. And I believe that person was not able to move. Then I started to think to myself. I was like, I thank God that that is not me. I thank God that I can walk, that I can move. Like that person was not able to move, I don't think. So this person have to be escorted everywhere, pushed in a wheelchair. As humans, we see things, we only see the things that we don't have. We only see the bad things. We see the things that we don't have and don't see the things that we do have. Does that make any sense? We may cry and complain to God about not having a new car or not having new clothes or not having different food to eat, so on and so on. You may not have nice clothes, but you have clothes. You may not have really expensive or different food to eat, but you have food to eat. You may not have a car or a nice car, but you have something. What I am trying to say, we need to thank God for what we have. We say that, well, a person who has nice things, they are blessed by God. As humans, we see things from an outward appearance. So we believe that if a person is dressing nice, if a person have nice things, that they are blessed by God. But we don't see what is truly happening in their personal life. We don't see, not in every case, but we don't see how miserable that person may be. We don't see how much debt that person may be in. We don't see the bad things that are happening to that person. We can only see the good. Anyone can wear a costume, right? But is that costume really them? Anything Many things can be bought by credit. So is credit your actual money? If you buy a house on a credit, is that credit, is that house really yours? If you have not fully paid it off yet, no. Is that car really yours if you have not fully paid it off yet, no. You are only looking on the outside appearance, 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 and not seeing what is going on in the inside. So what you do, you try to copy what everyone else is doing, and if you get there, then you find out that, hey, why did I do this? You believe by you believe that you will be more happy if you get this and get that and get this and that. But when you get it, you are still not happy. What do you picture 
What do you see when you think about a blessed person? So it can't be fine things because when you get those things, those things are not going to make you happy. So when you are blessed by God, you have to look at the basic things. Is this person in fair health? Does this person have clothes to wear? No matter if they are not really good clothes, does this person have food to eat? Does it matter if the food may be cheap or whatever else? What do you picture when you see or think of a blessed person? I'm telling you, once you get the things that you think that you want, you are going to find out that those things are not what you wanted. Does that make any sense? So be happy with what you have now. Be happy that you are able to walk if you can walk. Be happy that you can be happy that you are able to move around if you can move around. Be happy that you can do the things that you are able to do because there are some people who are not able to do what you are able to do. Take a trip to the hospital. So many sick people there. Some people have no legs, no arms. Some people have very bad asthma, which I had back in the past. I don't have it anymore. Some people have so many issues, but you are only seeing things from the outside when you see a person with nice clothes, shoes, blah, blah, blah. That person is blessed by God. Be careful of the people that you say that you wish you were like. Because you don't really know what is really going on in that person's life. That person could be serving Satan and you are saying to yourself, hey, I wish I was like that person there. <laughs> have no idea what you are saying. You are blessed as you are now if you are serving God. If you are able to move, speak, do basic things which many people can't, you are blessed. Perhaps the worst things for you is to get the things that you actually want. You say that you want all of this money. Perhaps if you get all of that money, that thousands of dollars that you may want or millions or whatever else, your heart may turn from God. So be careful of what you pray for. For instance, this is kind of off subject. I was watching this YouTube channel and um, this person was saying that they saw Satan or something like that. So I started to think in my mind, I wonder how Satan looks like. At that instant or within five seconds, this mental picture came to me, something that I cannot imagine on my own. No. I believe God allowed me to see it. And the, the only thing that I could see was the face only. I could not see like the horns or his legs or anything like that. I could only see Satan's face. The most evil face that you would ever see. Like a stone hard beast face like a very, I don't know how to describe it, like a very thick, hard face, like a evil smile or grin or whatever, just wicked. And not only that, I could feel, I don't know how to say it. I could feel the evilness, if that makes any sense, while I could see his face. I could see the evilness. Like, 
for their first two or three seconds I saw the face, I was praying to God to like, hey, shut it off. <laughs> like, I don't want to see it no more. And I kept on praying and he allowed me to see it. Even when I closed my eyes, I was able to see it. Even when I closed my eyes, I was still able to see it for like one minute. And I was praying, I like, God, please take that image out of my mind. Please take it away right now. Please, please. Like I was begging God to take away that image from my mind. So that goes along with be careful of what you pray for. And I have no idea why I said to myself, I wonder how Satan looks like. Crazy. And I thank God that he did not show me everything. Like, let's say that his face, I am not going to say his face is the same way as mine, but let's say that you can only see his face like from here to here. Like I saw like all around here. Crazy. I would never ask that again. Never. I tell you that. Some very, some very scary stuff there. Like, some people may say that I am going off subject again, but some people may say that if they don't care if they go to hell, no, you have no idea what you are saying. If you go to hell, no. I could only see his face. Imagine seeing everything else. So, pretty much, my original topic was... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Let me see. My topic was... Yes. What do you see when you think of a blessed person? We all are blessed. Because... What we have, another person may not have. So, don't be a covetous person. A person just that just wants everything nice. Like, hey, I want that, 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 I want that. And when you get it, many of the time, that is something that you don't even want. For instance, let me say this too. Like, um, around this time period, I had extra money. So I was buying things that I thought that I wanted. 98% of things that I bought around that time period, I did not even use. I bought so much crap and only 2% of the things I bought, I I actually used so what I am trying to say what you think you want you don't actually want so really take heed to what I have said I really hope or I pray that it helps you God bless